Here we have Jeff Donaghy, uh, CEO of ICC. We've had a chat over the last four years. It's that time again. We just want to get an update on seeing what's happening with ICC. It's all new, exciting. I've got the man here. Jeff, how's it going? Hi, Anthony. Yeah, going very, very well. In fact, this is our fourth year exhibiting uh, as ICC Sydney. Yes. I remember even the, the build-up and all of that, sort of, and then the, the, the food introduction. You're now a year in. What's changed? Well, three years construction, of course, and now we've just finished our, well, just finished at the end of uh, December, finished our first full year of operation. Yes. And, and we've done a, uh, a very detailed analysis of what we had created during that. We engaged Deloitte Access Economics to measure that properly and independently. They've come up with, well, first of all, we ran 755 events during the, the year. That's huge. And that attracted 1.3 million visitors through yeah. our doors. What those visitors created was $785 million of spending within the Sydney and the New South Wales and, and the Australian uh, economy. And these are business visitors? Uh, no, that, that was all visitors across oh, all okay. of our segments. Okay. Uh, we, but of that 785, 560 million were international and interstate visitors. You know, the visitors that stayed yeah. in, in hotel rooms and generated yep. 1.5 million uh, hotel yep. uh, uh, state room yep. nights uh, yep. for the city uh, yep. as well. Uh, and we've just uh, we launched our an, a, an annual, we, as a private operation. We're, we're not obliged to do an annual report, sure. but we thought there was so much interest, so much expectation, uh, you know, so much invested, not just money, but but so much invested by the the industry, waiting yes, to see what absolutely. happened in uh, Sydney. We produced a very detailed report, analysing all the things that uh, we achieved: the 93% client satisfaction rating, 95% delegate satisfaction rating, uh, along with the Along with the, you know, the economic impact and the uh, the dollars, yeah. we won 25 awards during the uh, the year. It's always good to be recognised by our, you know, our peers yeah. and colleagues right across industry. That was for the design and construction, yeah. uh, along with all the other aspects of our uh, operation as well. I must say, it's a beautiful, beautiful venue. We were there for a couple of events, and uh, the food was amazing, yeah. and even the architecture was lovely. Look, what what we set out to achieve, I guess. Uh, is that it's uh, yeah, it certainly is it's an extraordinary venue and uh, you know we spent three and four years before that three year construction period working with the architects the developers the financiers the new south wales government coming up with the right concept uh, you know the right designs to suit that that once in a lifetime that unique location you know right on one of the world's great harbors and right nestled within the middle of uh, you know a very dynamic fact one of asia pacific's yeah. most dynamic uh, cbds but what we needed to add to that was an extraordinary team. You know, we have some 1,700 uh, people full-time and uh, and part-time. We had 44,000 applications for positions wow. at the uh, at the other uh, centre. So we yeah. had to build the right culture yeah. right from uh, right from day one. So that extraordinary venue, operated by an extraordinary team, delivers extraordinary events. And um, have you picked up any major events that would not normally have come to Sydney because now the ICC is in town? Well, of course, you know, three years without, of course, uh, you know, there was. That vacuum got filled and a lot of that business, exhibition business, the national convention business, uh, a lot of the big uh, corporate business within Sydney, you know, sort of beat a path to our door and that, that you know, that, all those segments made a great contribution. Yeah. Concerts, where, you yeah. know, we're now the major downtown concert venue. Oh, we wow. did 56 concerts yeah. uh, uh, during the, uh, the year as well. What we are seeing though, and this is, this, you know, as well as winning, we work closely with business events in Sydney to win those big international yeah. uh, conferences. What we are seeing though is that we're attracting quite a few of them now, and a few more under negotiation, events that in the past have been held in Southeast Asia. Uh, wow. The big IT, the tech companies, wow. um, yeah. uh, you know, so we're attracting SAP. We had yeah. 2,000 delegates in January this year. Uh, so, that, so that business, that corporate business, that big corporate business, as well as the incentive business out of Asia, like we kicked off with an 8,000 delegate uh, Amway incentive in, yeah. in January uh, last year as well. So yeah, we're certainly starting to, as they say, we're starting to disrupt that market, yes, that, that no, whole Asian market. Yeah. Oh, we've been working with Cybos for over a number of years yes. and um, they were waiting for the ICC mm. to build and yeah. I understand now they're coming back this year. They're coming back in August, some around 6,000 uh, yeah. delegates I think, yeah. we'll see the registrations are yeah. uh, going That's a well. beautiful show. It is and, and this is actually the very first time they've made a, a decision, a venue decision on a construction site. Oh wow! So normally they wait till something's yes. tested and up and yeah. Uh, yeah. up and running. So I think that's an enormous <coughs> vote of confidence in the project and our team as well. Yeah. And the fact that you know they know that we run these venues all around yeah. the world. Yeah. So we were going to hit 
hit the, the first day operating a world-class venue. Certainly exciting. So uh, going forward the next 12 months, what have you got planned? Uh, I think uh, more of the same. Uh, yeah. We're going to. We, uh, there was a big rush in that first year. Some of that will die down, but we're replacing that with new business. So it'll be, a, be about the same results we're expecting uh, in the coming year. Cyboss, uh, World Accountants, yes. uh, some, some big stuff, the yeah. exhibition business. Yeah. But most of the exhibitions uh, that came to us um, showed, uh, you know, some were stayed at Glebe Island, some went to other cities. Yeah. Uh, they, they, just about all of those showed increases in their attendance. That'll probably plateau in the next year. So it's, to a little bit of an extent, it'll be a period of stabilisation. But, but we're expecting really good things in 2018 as well to match what we kicked off with in 2017. Yeah, it's fantastic. Are you giving, are you giving the MCC a run for money? Uh, well, we compete on certain areas, of course, you know, as, as all the venues in Australia do, yeah. yeah. But, you know, Australia's very well blessed yeah, with, yeah. uh, with world-class uh, uh, facilities, but yeah. we just think what ICC's done <coughs> has re-established Sydney as Australia's global city. Yeah, it's fantastic. Where do you see business events in the next three to five years? Look, I think that's something, you know, we talk about the competition amongst the venues yep. and the bureaus, but, but we also work very closely and collaboratively together, and that gets remarked on. Uh, what yeah. a, what a collegiate industry we have uh, in Australia. You know, we acknowledge our competition, yes, uh, but we also work together on the betterment of the yes. of the, uh, the, the industry. Yeah, yeah. Look, I think I think uh, Australia's still got a long way to go in getting increasing its market share. You know, we set the pace uh, in so many areas. You know, with with uh, venues and and with our strategies. You know, the Beyond Tourism concept. They all get copied very, very quickly. So yes. we've got to make sure, you know, if you're standing still in this business, it means yeah. you're going backwards. Yes, agreed. So we certainly need to look at that international um, uh, business, you know, and remain competitive in that. And we need to watch the exhibition business and see where that's going. It's in a very dynamic uh, state as well. Probably some more potential for yeah. um, a little more international component of our exhibition uh, business, which has been predominantly domestic. And technology is becoming a big player now. So, what are the biggest technology improvements you've made, or you will see moving forward? Well, of course, building something from scratch, we are able to put all of the right uh, components and yeah. IT components. We ran one of those tech events I talked about that we yes. sort of tracked out of Asia. We ran, I think, around six and a half thousand concurrent Wi-Fi connections. What we're actually seeing, and that's a that's a very important point. What we're seeing with those tech companies uh, that are coming down is that they're entrusting their IT and our, and our tech services to us and our in-house team and, and for most of them, in fact for all of them, that's the first time they haven't had wow. to engage in outside yeah, yeah. outside companies to uh, to run that which normally they would have brought down from that's South right. East Asia. It's just experience them. I guess. So that's a, a huge yeah. vote of confidence but it's an area that you need to stay ahead of, you need to be constantly investing in new equipment, up-to-date technology yeah, yeah. In, in the AV area as well and in, and in culinary equipment yes. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now going forward, AIM, mm. new owners? next year. Yes. Uh, talk to media, Matt Pearce, what are your thoughts? Uh, well of course we've known Matt for so many years uh, and I think uh, yeah it's, it's a you know it's an interesting move, it was an open market, Reed in fact I think decided not to yep. uh, not to uh, tender for it. Uh, I think things you know uh, uh, the opportunity to refresh, to look at concepts. We've had some preliminary, I mean AIM has served us very very well yes. over the years and, and it's you know. We've been, we, God, we've been AIM since early 90s. Yeah. In fact, I came to the very first AIM when it was, uh, you know, way back when I was running a bureau in North, right? North wow, uh, Queensland. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I won't even hazard a guess how many years ago. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't matter how many years ago uh, uh, that was. But look, all, you know, all concepts have a shelf life. Yes. Um, you know, that need refreshing. We have a great saying within yeah. our team at uh, ICC: if it's not broken, let's break it. <laughs> you know, let's, not, let's not assume it something that worked last year is going to yeah. work next year. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see where it goes. I think there's a real need for a marketplace for our industry. I think it really needs to reach out and engage with Asia, both in, in, in sellers and buyers to be, um, you know, to be feasible. So it's, um, I guess it's watch this space and, you know, from, from us, you know, best wishes to Matt and his team and, yes, you know, we'll, we'll be certainly supporting it. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Stein Jeff. It's always a pleasure. It certainly is, Anthony. Thank you.